it's not a problem that's you know uh, limited to Montreal. It, it touches people in Matan, in little uh, in rural areas as well. Safety advocates, pedestrians, and parents are demanding more to be done to protect school zones in Quebec. With a planned protest taking place at several schools across the province Tuesday. This over a month after the death of seven-year-old Ukrainian evacuee Maria Legenkovska, who was struck and killed right here in Montreal's Ville-Marie borough in a hit and run while walking to school. We were already uh, carrying these requests before the event and when it happened it really shook all of us. We, we no longer want to stand still and just wait for those changes to occur. Ashling Lynch walks with her three-year-old. I just have been saying to him, like, a little girl got hurt here and we need to be really careful of cars. The little girl, Maria, died of her injuries in hospital. Since her death, the city installed plastic bollards on the street where she was hit and signs barring traffic during certain hours. But some say not much has changed and cars still speed by. This is a one-way street. You'd think that, like, that is a way of calming traffic, but people are constantly cutting down from Sherbrooke. It was already difficult to begin with and now it's only exacerbated. I don't feel like us being careful is always the answer because, you know, the cars have the responsibility. Eh? Advocates say it's the city's responsibility, which has already promised to implement more measures like speed bumps. What we're asking for, though, is uh, measures that are a bit more structuring than this, um, namely the revision of street, um, street directions. We want more one-ways and we want street configurations that don't allow through traffic uh, in our residential streets. After meeting with the city, some are hopeful for the future, but say the Tuesday protest is to keep the pressure on authorities. We really want to make sure that they're on board, they understand uh, our preoccupation and that they, we want them to intervene and help us appease um, you know, transit and have safer streets. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.